There's some other things that I believe violate constitutional law. I've voted on several occasions for background checks. I supported background checks in the state of Illinois. I've supported background checks in the past. Let's look at what we've already done. One is in 2018, we passed the school safety bills, which many of our schools received some of those grants and, and to try to control those shootings. Also, what it is that we dealt with uh, when it came to um, mental health and dealing in that respect. Then we passed uh, many pieces of legislation that are, and I've got a list of those if you want them, of things that we financed, everything from mental health to checks to all of these things. So the other issue that's out there is, I was the first one that stood up specifically from the Republican Party whenever we, the Las Vegas shooting occurred, that the bump stocks should have already been ruled during the Obama administration as illegal because they circumvented existing law. So I was one of the first ones on to the letter to encourage them to revisit that, which they did. Now as we move forward, we've got to come up with sensible plans that will be constitutional, that we can work together. For instance, the red flag laws that are out there. We're trying to get back there right now to deal with that. However, those bills are in the Senate. Let's see what they do with those in the Senate. We have to understand that there is an issue that we have to deal with. But whether we want to believe it or not, there is a constitutional issue as well. The Second Amendment is as important as the First Amendment. We have to be wise. No one wants to see shootings like this. No one wants to see them at all. I have no problem with the universal background check. I, and the extension, the thing is, 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 will that help? I'll listen to the studies on that to try to figure that out. The problem that occurs is that if you want to do that cleanly, that's one thing. But with my, many of my colleagues, they don't pay attention to what the Second Amendment is really about and they will then try to add more things into it that I believe that violate the Constitution. Mm -hmm. Background checks do not violate the Constitution. Let me tell you that because I've had so many comments on everyone that's come up on how I feel and the concerns that I have, the concerns dealing with mental health, the issues that deal with uh, whether it is with a hate crime, from one of them was a hate crime. The other one, we're trying to still study and figure that out. Let me tell you, there's a lot of investigations going on no one, no one believes that we shouldn't do something to try to cure the problem. Now, let me also say that we heard certain people say, well, we've, we've got to reinstate uh, certain bans on certain weapons and everything like that. The reality is, is that the Constitution is very clear that we have that Second Amendment. And so we have to be wise that we don't violate our Constitution. I also don't want to violate the Constitution on the First Amendment or any other one of the amendments. So, as we move forward, my position is this. It's a tragedy, it's terrible. We're going to get back, we're gonna work and try to figure out how to cure this problem. We've already put things in place, but there's also an obligation for those people to report when they see, and that's, that's one thing that's vitally important. If you see a family member that is headed down this path, you see somebody at school that's headed down this path, when you have as many reports as the one did uh, in, in Texas from his school of the hate and that how that was being spewed, some red flag should have come up and somebody should have reported that and there should have been some kind of monitoring and sensible monitoring that works. The reality is, is some of these are not even detected though. And it is, it is you'd like to say, well, it's the gun's fault. No, it's, it's, it's a, a, something has happened in that person's life that has allowed them to step over that edge of what normal people do. Just like the shooter that came here from Belleville out and started shooting my colleagues, which at that time, I also remember there were certain members that are now screaming for gun control and all of this, that at that time, they said very little. They said very little about the anger. They said very little about the issues that were out there and that we need to come together, drop the partisanship, and come together with some real plans. I think we did that last year. I think those need to be implemented, but also let's watch it very, very closely and see how we're going to deal with it. Well, right now, um, there is a, a bill that uh, Babin out of Texas has. I think I'm already on that. We're encouraging leadership to move forward with that. We're looking very closely at the other red flag bills. Okay, we want to make sure that when we put them in place, once again, it doesn't make someone a criminal um, in the case where maybe they didn't pick up Okay, we want anybody, if they see something, to get hold of authorities and make sure that they're, that they're obligated to do that. However, don't, we don't want to make them a criminal if they 
missed it. You see what I'm saying? So we want to be very careful when you draft legislation, you don't draft it on a knee-jerk reaction. I want it fixed just as bad as anybody, and I couldn't imagine being a parent or a grandparent suffering the loss that they have either in, in Ohio or in Texas. Well, let me tell you that right now, with the existing magazines that are out there, I'm, I'm looking very, very closely on what our law will actually allow and where that falls in the Constitution as well. Because there's been some really unique court rulings over the time from the Supreme Court from years ago. However, those have been modified since the 30s. So let's look and see what is there that we don't violate the Constitution. Do I think it's necessary for someone to be carrying a 100-round magazine? Probably not. That when we move forward, I hope that even beforehand, we'll wait and see if the Senate gets called back. If the Senate gets called back to work on those bills that we've got, which it doesn't sound like they will. If not, we're moving forward with those red flag proposals, as well as the Babin proposal, which is a little different than the red flag, but, but similar. And that is, you know, making sure that people are noticing. The problem that is all the background checks they're talking about passing right now, everything that was out there wouldn't have worked in these incidents and other incidences. And here's why, because it is dependent on the existing laws being enforced and or implemented in the fact that you have certain groups reporting to other groups. Maybe that's where we work, is for a quick communication of, of when you have someone with a mental health issue or someone who is making a very broad step. Now, let me tell you this. If all of a sudden you start using social media and you say some things that aren't right, we can monitor that, but there are certain guidelines under the Constitution that protect your First Amendment right. So the question is, when I told you I believe in the, in, in the Constitution and the amendments of the Constitution, other nations don't have the freedoms we have. With those freedoms come great, great responsibility and sometimes great tragedy. But that being said, I'm not willing to give up those freedoms. Mm -hmm.